Welcome to Taste the Word with Fanny Meiberg. Let us get a taste of God's Word. I greet you on this wonderful Friday morning. What a blessing to be around the Word and to share the Word. I want to speak to you this morning about a question that comes to me regularly and, and the issue that many people want clarity on. And this is the question on gambling. I want to speak to you about gambling. Sometimes the question comes from Christians who practice it and they like to know, am I wrong? Is it a sin? Sometimes it is coming from other Christians who don't do it, but they like to know the biblical perspective on gambling. Normally they need an answer. Is it right or is it wrong? Now under the term gambling, I also want to add the words lottery and betting. Now, I could not find any of these words in the Bible. So we have to dig a little bit deeper in the principles of gambling to find an answer. Now, my first question we need to answer. Why do people want to gamble? Why do you want to bet? Why do you want to play the lottery? That you answer the question. Now, there may be many answers. But the most common reason for most of the people is to strike it lucky and win some quick cash. It is all about the money. We need money because this is the focus of gambling. This is the focus of lottery. That This is the focus of betting. They exploit the people's love of money and tempts their partakers with the promise of easy riches. The second question And let's go for a moment to the Bible, because this principle is also coming into question. What about casting lots that is in the Bible? Is it not also based on luck, what we just uh, speak about now? Now, let's look for a moment at it. We see in Acts chapter 1 verse 26, how the apostle cast Lots to determine the replacement of Judas. You understand why they needed to replace him. You also see earlier in Joshua 18 verse 10, only to name two examples. There's more, but only to to name two this morning. Joshua cast lots to determine the allotment of land to the various tribes. And both outcomes of these instances are seen as an answer of God. The reason was, Because Proverbs 16 verse 33 says, The lot is cast in the lap, but its very decision is from the Lord. In other words, the outcome is from the Lord. Now an important thing to remember on the casting of these lots in the Bible, it has nothing to do with easy riches, quick money, or personal gain. They did it, to get an answer from God. And they trust God. If they cast the lot. That the outcome will be the will of God. It was never for personal gain. The third question. I want us to have a look at the disadvantages of gambling. So what is the disadvantages of gambling? Remember. I like to try and help you. From the Bible perspective. But also from a practical perspective. To help you to make a decision. Is it right or is it wrong? Is it morally right? Is it morally wrong? So let us look for a moment. What is the disadvantages of gambling? And lottery and and the casinos and so on. Gambling, firstly, is an effort to take advantage of the misfortune of others. If you think about it, multiple others has to lose money so that one person can win the money. So the question, remember, I like to help you to make a decision. So the question that is relevant for the Christian on this is, why risk the money that God gave you graciously? And why rejoice if you win in the loss of somebody else? You know you took money maybe from a poor person. As a Christian, is it the right thing to do? Someone even says, to do this, it is even unethical. But it is acceptable for the casino owners and the lottery owners and so on. Number two, 
Secondly, casinos use all sorts of marketing schemes so that the gamblers will risk as much money as possible. That is why you will always find things like alcohol, nearly naked women, among other things. So that the player's ability to make wise decisions is decreased. They use lights, they use music, they use all the nice things. Nothing in a casino is at the benefit of its players. Remember, it is not for your benefit. A casino is not there to benefit you. It is to benefit themselves. Now, if it is not to your benefit, if it is not to the benefit of you as a Christian, why will you want to go there and participate in it? Why? I just help you to make a decision. It still stay your decision. Number three, thirdly, lotteries also have a very clever take on this issue. They tempt people with quick riches as a way to plow back in the poor communities or to fund schools or to fund social programs. I read about a survey that they took. And uh, in the survey, they says households in the lowest income bracket spent 13%. Remember, in the lowest income bracket, they spent 13% of their income on lottery, while the highest earners spent only 1% of their income. So this means that those who need the money most fund the poor communities. Those who need the money most fund the schools. They fund the social programs, but they are actually the ones who need the money most. So the question comes again, as a Christian, are we to partake in this money principle? So let's go to the Bible. There is one, two, there is five verses I quickly want to read to you. First Timothy 6 verse 10, Paul says, the love of money is the root of all evil. Remember the word, the usage of the word love. The love of money is the root of all evil. Be careful. There is evil behind the love of money. Number two, Proverbs 13 verse 11 says, Dishonest money dwindles away, but he who gathers money little by little makes his money grow. Very important. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 10. Whoever loves money never has enough money. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with his income. They always want more, more, more. Why? Because the love of money is the root of all evil. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10 says, If a man will not work, he shall not eat. So Paul says, work for your money. Don't go to the casino. Don't play the lottery. Understand what I mean? Understand what Paul says? Hebrews 13 verse 5 to 6 is, says, Keep your lives free from the love of money. And then he said something else. Be content with what you have. Why? Because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? In other words, the writer of Hebrews says, If you need money, trust God. Trust God for another work opportunity, an extra work opportunity. Trust God for a raise. You understand what I mean? Trust God. And God will supply in all your needs. So, as we come to a conclusion, gambling as a deed is not necessarily a sin. Because I can't find it in the Bible. Especially if you've done the gambling in moderation. In other words, not because of the love of money. You understand what I mean? But it is definitely a waste of money. And here is the problem. And on the topic of wasting money, we can add a list of things on which you can waste your money. It is gambling, it is lottery, it is betting, but also you can waste your money on expensive clothes. That you think about it. You can waste your money on excess food, a lot of food. So many people throw away heaps and heaps of food. Vegetables, meat that is getting old in the fridge and in the freezer. We can waste our money on entertainment. 
We can waste our money on expensive cars. You don't need that expensive car. You don't have to have it. Now, of these things, we can easily say, all these things are a waste of money or the misuse of the money that we have received from the hand of God through hard work or from the money we have saved over time. And that is also wrong. So as a Christian, we have to be good stewards of our money. No, don't waste it. And we need to apply the principles in the Bible about money matters. And even not to lust after things that money can buy. Because if the lust is there, after more and more things, the need for money will also grow. And very easily will we fall in the trap of love of money against which the Bible wants us. I believe you have found an answer. I believe this uh, practical things and the biblical examples is helping you today to make a decision on the topic of gambling. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Enjoy your weekend until we speak again next week.